be with you, Brad. Well, once you leave me, you live forever. Does it mean that you pray? No, Is it bread? No, Where is you hear his voice? Who is not in the practice? He said you shall say what I have. Let thanks and praises be given to our God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let thanks, praises, honor be given to our Father, leader, Lumba, Lumba, in the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let thanks, praises, honor dominion and adoration ever be thine for now and evermore holy holy holy, holy lord god almighty most merciful father most compassionate Father, and the most righteous Father. Father, here we are, thy sinful children. Father, we have come once again before the throne of mercy. Father, we have come knowing fully well that we've sinned against the Father. Father, we've done so many unseeming things. We lie, we cheat, Father. We don't even put your words into practice. We've seen against the Father with our entire bodies. We've seen against it through our thoughts, actions, and utterances. Father, we are not worthy to be called our children. But we thank you, dear Father, for indeed you are not like man. For you have said that even though our sins be read as crimson, and that whenever we come to thee with penitent heart, confessing all our wrongdoings. Father, he did promise to take us back. Amen. Father, here we are, still on our bended knees, still begging and pleading, Father, for it was for this same reason that you sent your only begotten Son to come and die for the remission of all our sins. Father, we thank you so much, Father, for indeed his precious blood on the cross of Calvary has washed us clean, Amen. both in our bodies Amen. and our souls. Amen. Father, so let thanks and praises be given to thee in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Dear Father, we thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for all the patience. We thank you also for showing mercy. Through showing mercy, you've given each and every one of us a second chance. A second chance to be good children unto thee. A second chance to do thy work the way it is supposed to be done. A second chance to always speak the truth and practice righteousness so that it will be well with us in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. If our, what can we say? What can we do? On our own, we can do nothing. But with thee, Father, we can do greater works. And that's why we're calling on thee this morning, Father, to come and deliver us, to come and change us, to come and purify us. Thank you for sanctifying each and every one of us at the same time. And through this sanctification, Father, you've declared us to be thy bona fide children by faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, say the thanks and praises be given to thee. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we thank you for your loving kindness. You love us so much, you care for us so much. Father, you don't just want us to perish. That's why daily keep teaching us to have love one for another. Thank you for always admonishing us to always do good. Eh? So that only good things will follow us wherever we go. Thank you for changing us. Thank you, Father for removing from us 
all wicked spirit, all suffocating spirit, all deterring spirit. And in return, you've given us the Holy Spirit to always lead us aright and also lead us to the accurate knowledge of the truth so that in the end, glory and honor, we continue to be dying in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, dear Father, for you have come to change us. You have come to fortify us against any onslaught by the enemies. Whatever the enemies will do to us, thank you for promptly returning them all back to sender. Father, you love us so much. You care for us so much. Time has come, and the time is now for us to love you back so that all will be well with us in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. If I did not by long prayer that thou hearest us, after all, you know each and every one of us here. You know those who are coming on the way. You know those who would have loved to be here, but for one reason or the other, they can't make it. But their hearts are here. You know also, name by name, face by face, problem by problem, situation by situation. And whatever situation that is militating against us, Father, thank you for rooting them all out. And in return, you've given us the Holy Spirit to always lead us at right, and also lead us to the accurate knowledge of the truth. Father, what can we say? What can we do? On our own, we can do nothing. That is why we look up to thee for everything. And thank you for being everything for us. Thank you for constantly fighting all our secret and open wars for us. Thank you for being an all-conquering God. For you have indeed conquered for all your true children. Father, with your all-seeing eyes, you've seen all our situations. Thank you for changing all bad situations into good situations. As we are already good situation, thank you for making them to be the best situation. And thank you for finally taking dominion over your entire children. Amen. Father, no matter where they are right now in the world, as long as they believe in thee, and they love thee more than anything else, and they also love their brethren, and they have surrendered completely into thy care by putting all your injunctions into practice. Thank you, dear Father, for giving them all what to testify about thy holy name. Father, I love us so much. You care for us so much. Father, what can we say? What can we do? Except to thank you and to give you thy glory so that all will be perfectly well with us for now and evermore. Amen. The thanks, praises be given to thee in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let them praises be given to the one and only mighty, mighty God in the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, let all thanks, all praises, all honor, all power, all authority, and supremacy be given to thee and thee alone for now and evermore. We continue to praise our Father as we say in Brotherhood in Larry, in number 529. All things on earth are owned by the Father, who has no special shelter for himself. He has provided shelter for all things, birds of the air and foxes in the wood. Five to nine.
John chapter 10, verse 30. Our first Bible reading is an extract from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 10, verse 30. I and my Father are one. May the Father bless His holy words. Galatians chapter 3, verses 27 and 28. Our second Bible lesson is an extract from the book of Galatians chapter 3, verses 27 and 28. For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ, there is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither bond nor free, there is neither male nor female, for ye are all one in Christ Jesus. Peace may the Lord bless his holy word. <laughs> Our golden text is taken from John 17, verses 10 through 12. Our golden text is an extract from St. John Gospel, chapter 17, reading through 10 and 12. And all mine are thine, and thine are mine and I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. And I come to thee, Holy Father, keep through thy own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou givest me, I have kept and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. May the Lord bless his holy word. Amen. I say, I, I and my father, my father are one. Who tell the whole world? And he is here again. Who tell the whole church? Is he and he has come again. Who tell the whole stems? And he has come again. Who tell the whole world? And he is brotherhood. Who tell the whole world? He do your mighty works. Who tell the whole world? As he is a hiding, a deep in the light to the way he promised. A deep in the light to the way he promised. The sun is the mouthpiece of the Father. I am 
tedious unto you. So without delaying you unduly, let us hear our first Bible reading once again. Our first Bible reading is an extract from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 10, verse 30. I and my Father are one. May the Father bless his holy words. Christ said you go, I said you go, I'm a 
Second Bible reading. Our second Bible lesson is an extract from the book of Galatians, chapter 3, verses 27 and 28. For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Christ Jesus. Peace may the Lord bless his holy word. Amen. Dear brethren, yes, dear brethren, oh, yes, that is what we have for you today. That is our gospel today. And this is the problem of the entire world. Mm. This gospel, when you put it into practice, you will not have any problem whatsoever. Whether they keep something for you to match and pass, oh, you match and pass. As long as you put this gospel into practice. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And all those who are in the habit 
or putting something for somebody to march and pass. Or they put up something in order to harm whoever they want to harm. I don't think they are aware of this gospel. They don't know anything about this gospel. This gospel, when you put it into practice, whatever anybody does to you, that thing will go back to whoever. That is the back to sender we've been talking about. Eh? It will not go back to sender if you don't put this gospel into practice. But if you put this gospel into practice, every evil done you will surely go back to sender. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My problem and your problem and the problem of the entire world is that this gospel seems to count all your indebtedness to God. So you see, when you talk of Abraham, John the Baptist, and all the patriarchs, it was their time. And people seem to practice what was raining in those days. Eh? Our Lord Jesus Christ brought us a new law. Love one another. If you go to the Bible, you will see the wickedness that went on that time. But this era is the era of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is in charge. Holy Spirit is reigning. And I guarantee you, it will reign forever and ever more. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Lord Jesus Christ succeeded in his mission because he was one with the Father. And if you want to succeed, you too must be one with the Father. If you don't put this gospel into practice, then you have not started your journey yet. You are just playing, wasting your time. Because for you to start this journey, it must be one with him. Otherwise, forget it. You can see why we are not a church or service center. We are the kingdom of God. Where God rules. If you are serious with him and you obey him, and you put his words into practice. As he was one with the Father, he never did anything on his own. Whatever he hears from his Father, that's what he will do. Whatever the Father instructed him to do, he will obey without asking any question. You ask yourself, are you doing that here? In the kingdom of God? Are you? Don't you fight? Don't you want uh, to monopolize everything? Eh? If you give you a heart, you want to monopolize the heart. You wouldn't want any, anybody to come into that house. You want to be in charge. You don't want to share anything. But in the kingdom of God, we must share because we are one in him. Remember, when he said, foxes have hole, birds have nest. But the son of man had no way to lay his head. You remember that portion, right? What does that mean? He came in here quietly and laid down his life for you without fighting back. He had the power to fight back. Eh? But because he wanted you to benefit from his sacrifice. He did it in love. How many here will stand up and say, I want to die for brotherhood so that peace will reign in brotherhood? Or so that people will be doing God's will? I want to die. Eh? How many here? Anybody here? Everybody wants their own. They want to be great. They want to be known. They want to be called the greatest. And as such, all opposition. You know, they knock opposition down. They will lie about opposition. 
Even if there's no position, they'll do something that you do not exist. You don't come close. Eh? Only them, they want to be seen and heard. Is that what you're doing in the kingdom of God? This is the kingdom of God. Where oneness is the order of the day. Many here don't want to hear oneness. Unfortunately for you, this is the time that he has come as man to retrieve from those who have the resources to those who do not have. As long as you put this gospel into practice, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now you know your problem. Selfishness. Greed. You want to own everything by yourself. And those who go around deceiving people, father say when father did not say. Just to get your own way. Does that show any kind of love there? And when you are given something to run, because of the greed in you, you run that thing aground. You divert the money, scatter the whole place, all in the name of working for the Father. Is that what you are being taught here? I'm here to see one person that you put there and you practice the gospel. Only when you want, then you lie, you connive, you do all kinds of things. How can you say you are in the kingdom of God? You are not, though. You are not. And this is the time if you don't change. Huh? It is the time you'll be sent out, parking. Somebody looks for your trouble, you get up and slap the person. What right do you have to slap anybody? Is that what you have been taught here? Huh? What about those who like to quarrel? Huh? who like to fight. All those who like to bear malice. All those who tell big lies about their own brothers. The person is your brother or your sister in Christ. You lie against that person. You carry false rumor about that person. And you know rumor, it moves faster than anything. Now these days that everything is internet. As soon as you put it in the internet, it's all over the place. Eh? Is that what the kingdom of God is all about? Eh? Is it why you lack? Is it why you suffer? Because you stay here, all the name of, I'm a born brotherhood. Some will claim to be born into brotherhood. You do things that are on brotherhood. Is it because he allows you to leave? Because as soon as you mess up, you are supposed to be cut off. But he's a merciful God. He always gives the chance, the opportunity for you to see the light, to change, and follow him with all amount of honesty. What happened to that portion of the Bible? He says, if you baptize into Christ, that you have put on Christ. Which means all those of you who have claimed to be baptized and are still doing ungodly things. Your yeah, baptism does not take you to anywhere. You see, as soon as you baptize into Christ, you have put him on. Is Christ wicked? Huh? Does he send me to anybody? Does he quarrel with anybody? Does he bear malice? Does he tell lies? Does he steal? Uh huh. So when you say you've been baptized into Christ, you're supposed to put him on. And what is Christ? Is it not love? The love you don't have. And because of that, peace you don't have. So what good is it for you to be in brotherhood? It's of no use. It does not serve you any purpose. That is why you continue to beg. You beg for cream. You beg for powder. You beg for Tito. 
He begs for everything. He said, you are a brotherhood. Why can't you put his words into practice and be safe? You see, practice the old gospel of do me, I do you, that God will not be angry. Eh? Time has changed, Joe. This era of the Holy Spirit, you always remember the era you are on. The Holy Spirit is in charge. Holy Spirit is a leader. That whenever you do something that is ungodly, that you are in trouble, you will be a debtor. And as such, nothing good will come to you. Let us get a witness here. John chapter 15, verse 15. Our first witness is John from St. John Gospel, chapter 15, verse 15. Henceforth, I call you not servants, for the servants know it not what his Lord doeth, but I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my Father, I have made known unto you. May the Lord bless his holy word. Hallelujah. 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 Oh. In the of the Holy Spirit. So you see, he says, I will no longer call you servant. I will call you friends. Right? Can I do that here too? Can I call you friends? No longer servant. Because everything my father said, I have given it to you. Have I not? So how come you don't put those words into practice? Or it is too difficult? Are they difficult? Anybody that will say this gospel is too difficult? Eh? The only people I know who say it's difficult are those who claim to be rich because they don't believe in sharing. They are not ready to share to help the poor and the needy. As long as you share, share in love, share with all amounts of humility, it will do what? It will replenish your pores. Eh? You never go broke. You never be poor. Amen. You never lack. Amen. But those rich men, some of them here, they don't like to share. Don't you know the moment you are baptized, you are now a brotherhood. And everything, you yourself, your properties, everything belongs to brotherhood. Are you aware of that? And in brotherhood, we believe in sharing, helping the next man who cannot help himself. So that the young man does not have to go and lie. He does not have to go and steal. But some of you will see people going to steal eh, because they don't have. Instead of you helping that person not to steal, you encourage the person. You look the other way. You do as if you didn't see what happened. Is that what you are taught here? So you see, time has changed. This is the time to follow God, to be obedient to God. Isn't it better to be a true brotherhood? Eh? To put this gospel into practice and be safe. And you become eternal. God is eternal. You too, you are eternal. Do you know that? Do you know that? In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen, Christ. Amen. Amen.
to delay you unduly, let us hear our golden text once again. A recap of our golden text is an extract from St. John Gospel, chapter 17, reading through 10 and 12. And all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. And I come to thee, Holy Father, keep through thy own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou givest me, I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition that the scripture might be fulfilled. May the Lord bless his holy word. Hallelujah. 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 Holy Spirit.
Any child of perdition here? I know you said no. Eh? And then you still do the things you are not supposed to do. Now you know that everything belongs to him. Heaven and earth. And the fullness thereof belongs to him. And because you've been one with him, you have every right to those things. He will give them to you. In return to whatever belongs to you, also belongs to him. So you see, everything belongs to him. And uh, what belongs to you also belongs to him. So when they say, Father has given, Father has also taken. So there's no quarrel. There's no court case there. Because he takes his things anytime he wants. Eh? And you here, when you come in here, you start giving requisition. I want this, I want that, I want that. Have you put him on? Because if you have put him on, there will be no need for you to make requisition. Because everything that belongs to him also belongs to you. And as such, all that belongs to him will be at your own disposal. Amen. He will give them to you Amen. even without asking for it. Because he knows that you need those things. All you have to do is to obey him. Put him on. Wear him. And of course, it's not for you to say, oh, what belongs to you? It belongs to only you. Do you do show love to people? Eh? We must do show love. They say pure religion is looking after the poor, the needy, the sick ones, those who cannot help themselves. Your own pure religion is getting everything you want from God. No, be so. So, where would that take you? He cannot have it. Unless you are one with him. You believe in him. You put your trust in him. You put your faith in him. Implicit faith. No, be why your faith, oh. No, be eye service, oh. There is no eye service here. All those who do eye service, when they put you in charge of something, some people will like to work with them, some you don't work with them. You do as you like, as you want. You play games. You think you're smart. God is smarter than you. Amen. And one day, one day, that thing will be taken away from you. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Our God is God of equality. There is no Jew or Gentiles here. No female, no male here. Because that person is a female. And as such, she not enjoy the blessings of God. Uh -uh. We are all one in him. Uh -huh. With his love. We are supposed to walk together. Move together. Joyously. Joyously, because you put him on. You have him. You believe in him. You've surrendered everything to him. Surrender your body to him. You put his words into practice. And then he will allow you to share in everything that he has. And he too will also share in all you have. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Waiting at all right. At all right. Now waiting at all right. At all right. Now waiting at all right. At all right. Thank you.
to die. Eh? Today, I have given you the antidote for death. And that is the gospel of today. With the gospel of today, death will run away from you. With today's gospel, prosperity will be your portion. Dear brethren, oh, would I last me to a chorus? A yam stepping down. As you can begin, they say it's enough for the work. So therefore, he who has yes, let him or her hear what the Holy Spirit has given to us this afternoon. I said, may he alone. May he alone 
ما هي اللون بلاس يو فيو ويلز